hey guys welcome back to the channel so i hope you all are doing well so today we are going to discuss javascript interview questions and answers okay so if you are preparing for a full stack uh, interview or if you are preparing for a fronted interview then these are the questions you must be knowing okay so i can bet if you go through all these 10 questions there is a probability that uh, you will be able to crack the interview okay so since i also take interviews for mnc so i know like what are the questions that interviewer is going to ask so if you like this kind of content okay so please do subscribe the channel and share the content with your friends so maybe this kind of video might help them okay so let's go straight into the first question okay so the first question says what is the difference between the operators double equals to and triple equals to okay so the double equals to is used for the comparison between two variables okay it just check the comparison however triple equals to will check the comparison as well as it will check the data type of both the variables which are going to be compared okay so i have taken the example of both the cases okay so let's let's check the first case here okay so in the first case i am using double equals to okay and i'm comparing handed is equal to is equal to under quotation handed means this is your string and this is your number but double equals to is not going to check the data type so it is going to return you true okay so you can see this has written true okay for the second case where i am using triple equals to obviously it is going to check both the things the equality as well as the data type and if the data type is not equal then in that case it is going to return false so both should be matching in case of triple equals to okay so if you see this has written false okay let's take the second example so in second example i'm just using the one is equal to is equal to true okay so you all know for a boolean true it gives one and for false it gives zero okay so this is going to compare one with one so this is going to give you true because it has not checked the data type so it will return true and in the second case where you are uh, where you are using triple equals to it is going to check uh, the data type as well so the value is equal but the type is not equal okay so in that case it is going to return you false okay so that is all about the difference let's go to the next question it says what is the difference between var late and const okay so regarding this i have uh, already made a detailed video okay uh, with the detailed uh, analysis you can click on the i button to know the exact stuff okay so let's let's see the difference in uh, theoretical terms here okay so var late and const okay so first thing is the scope okay so the scope of var is functional scope however the scope of late and const are block scope okay the second difference is var can be updated and redeclared into the scope okay however late can be updated but cannot be redeclared okay so const will not allow you to either update or redeclare it okay the third difference is the var can be declared without initial initialization because the uh, default value is undefined okay when it comes to late it can be declared without in initialization okay but when it comes to const it cannot be declared without initialization okay okay so the fourth difference is var can be accessed without initialization as it default value is undefined which i already told you in, in case of late it cannot be accessed without in initialization okay as it returns an error and in, in case of const it cannot be accessed without initialization as it cannot be declared without initialization okay so these are the major difference between var late and const okay let's go to the next question so it says what is callback in a javascript okay so callback is a plain javascript function passed to some method as an argument okay it is a function that is to be executed after another function has finished executing let's see the example so here what i am doing is this is my main function okay so in this main function uh, this is your callback okay so in place of callback you can pass the function name okay so this is your first function which is a main function this is your callback function okay so i am calling this main function from here okay and i am passing this parameter pankaj okay in terms of in, in case of name and i'm passing the second function which is your callback function here as a parameter okay so what it will do is first it will execute this line okay so it will print hi pankaj so this line will be executed and then it is going to execute this function callback so in case of callback what we have passed we have passed second function right so it is going to call this function okay and then it is going to print this statement so this has printed this one okay so this is all about the callback let's go to the next question so it says what is closer in case of javascript okay so closer means that inner function always has an access to the vars and parameter of its outer function even after the outer function has 
finished execution or it has return okay we'll see the example here so this is your outer function okay so inside this outer function what we are doing is we are declaring one variable having value as 40 and then we are declaring one function inner function okay and then we are returning this variable inside this inner function okay and then what happened since you have declared this outer function you need to return this okay so i'm returning this inner function here okay so now this is the where i'm declaring here okay and in this where i'm calling this outer function okay so what it will do is outer function it going to return you variable 40 okay because we have used that inside a inner function but this is what closer means you will be able to access the variable okay you will be still able to access the variable by calling this inner function okay so if you call this inner function you will get 40 here okay so this is all about the closer let's go to the next question so it says what is n a n in javascript okay so nan is just shorthand for not a number okay in javascript n a n is a number that is not a legal number the number dot is n a n function okay returns true if the value is non and the type is a number okay let's see the example here okay so basically is done function is something uh, that is going to return true if you have passed not number and it will return false if you have passed number okay so it is going to check for not a number okay so if you are passing one to three so one to three is obviously a number so is none is going to return you false okay because it will detect one to three is a number so it will it will return you the false here okay for the second case when you pass punkers okay so this punkers is not a number so this is none function is going to return you true so this has returned you the true value okay so this is all about na in javascript let's move to the next question so it says what is the difference between null and undefined okay so undefined is a type however null is a declared value okay so null is something we need to initialize a variable with okay so let's see the example here so if you have seen the video of uh, where late and const you will be better able to uh, relate it okay so i will advise you to go and see that video first okay let's see the example here this is example of where okay so here what we are doing is we are declaring the where with name right since we have not initialized where okay so the default type is undefined so when you try to print this name it is going to return you undefined okay because the default type for var is undefined okay in the second case null is something that you need to initialize the variable with okay so i am declaring one city variable and i'm going to initialize that with null now when you print city it is going to return you null so that is the major difference between null and undefined okay let's move to the next question okay so sometime interviewer can ask you this uh, practical question also okay uh, they will ask you to share your screen they will give you this type of question and they will ask you what is the output okay so you need to understand the uh, in and out of it okay so let's see the first case where it says 6 plus 5 plus under quotation 3 what what will be the value okay so say here okay so here what we are trying to do is okay we are adding the 6 plus 5 plus we are adding 3 but it is not going to add all these three because this is not a number so it is going to add 6 plus 5 which is 11 and then it will identify this 3 as a string okay so it is going to concat so 6 plus 5 11 and then 3 so it will return 113 so this is your output okay for the second case where you are adding 6 plus 5 plus 3 the two are a string and one is a number okay so it is going to concat all these three so your output will be 653 so this is your output okay let's move to the next question it says what are the data types supported by the javascript okay so these are some basic terms you need to know uh, so uh, we do have uh, this type of uh, data type so undefined null boolean string symbol number and object so these are the data type which is being supported by the javascript let's move to the next question it says what is hosting in javascript okay so hosting is nothing but it's the default behavior of a javascript where all the variable and function declarations should move to the top so if you are writing some function and if you have declared some inner function or let's say some variable okay then it's best way to like avoid any error is to move the declaration at the top of a scope okay because if you have declared where that is fine so you'll not be getting error right because the default type is undefined but when it comes to const and late you'll not be able to use those variable without initializing right so it's better to move the declaration at the top okay so irrespective of where the variable and function are declared they are moved uh, on the top of a scope okay so a scope can be local or global okay so the scope can be both local and global that is what it says okay see the 
example here okay so this is your hosted variable okay so what here they are doing is they are first initializing this hosted variable is equal to 10 and then they are calling this hosted variable so it is going to return 10 okay in the hosted function case you are calling this hosted function okay and then you are uh, printing the hello people inside this hosted function so when you call it you will get the hello people okay so the best way is to move this var hosted variable at the top okay so the declaration should be at the top but here we do have declaration at the bottom okay so make sure all your declaration are going at the top of the scope okay so that is all about the hosting so the next question is what is curring in javascript okay so curring is an advanced technique to transform a function okay of argument n to n number of one or fewer arguments okay so basically uh, it's like splitting down your function to the n number of functions so if your function takes five arguments you need to split that uh, function into five different different functions by supplying the arguments okay for an example if you have a function f of x y okay then the function after curring will be transformed to f of x and y okay so let's see the example here so this is your function without curring okay so what it is doing is this function is a multiply function it takes two variable x comma y and it returns x into y so when you call this function by passing the parameter 5 comma 4 it is going to return you 20 okay so without carrying the output is 20 however after carrying the output will be same there is no difference in output only the process is something that is going to be changed okay so with curring what is happening we are splitting down the function okay so we are splitting the function so this is function curring okay and then inside this we are returning function x and then we are returning function y and then we are calling fn of x comma y okay now what happened we are declaring one variable curring multiply and we are calling this curring function and we are passing the multiply function here so this function is something that we are going to pass here okay so this is something like we are passing the function as a parameter okay now we will be calling this particular variable here so we are call we have called this variable by passing 5 comma 4 so this will call this function and it is going to execute the multiplication and it will return you the result as 20 okay so this is all about the 10 questions guys uh, what we needed to cover okay so uh, we'll meet up in the next video based on your response so if you have any query then shoot out your query in the comment box we'll try to resolve it so till then bye bye take care have a nice day